This is Jake from Twin Two HD, and today we're doing the Netgear Paradigm Wi-Fi One Thousand. Yes, we're going to do a product review on the Netgear right here. And basically, what we did is we found out that we had a slight issue with the Wi-Fi, uh, specifically in the far, far corner of the house when we are trying to surf on our iPads. Right, Jake? Right. So we looked out and we found uh, the Netgear, and it boasts that it'll basically use the actual wires through the power to boost our Wi-Fi signal. And how it does it is pretty cool. It, it just basically shoots the uh, signal through uh, the system and allows us to connect our computers or expand our Wi-Fi. Or so, anything that's electric. Yeah. And that's on Minecraft on the Wii. We Ooh. got it from Christmas. That's pretty cool. So let's take a uh, closer look at the box and the contents that it comes in. So here is the box and I just want to show you what it actually comes with. On the side of the box, it goes through the package contents, basically the access point, the adapter, two Ethernet cables, the quick installment or the ins quick install documentation. Shows you some uh, system requirements, specifications in regards to the actual equipment that you just bought, and then it does come with a limited Netgear one-year warranty. When we look on the back side of the box. It uh, kind of just describes how easy it should be to set it up. We'll find out here as we go along, but basically it will extend through upstairs, far reach areas, maybe even a, a mother-in-law suite if it's not attached to the house might be able to benefit from a Wi-Fi extender such as the Netgear uh, Powerline 1000. And then the uh, other side of the box just kind of uh, let you know that it's an energy saving, it's a push and secure system, and it also has the push and connect WPS, which is also nice when you're connecting other devices to your new Wi-Fi. All right, so let's go ahead and open up the box and see what it comes with. Okay. So we're gonna open it up. Yeah, let's see what's inside, right, Jake? Right. I'll come in. I'll come in now. Oh, okay, cool. Thanks, Jake. So we got the quick start guide. So here's all the pages. Mm -hmm. Start. Go ahead and put that aside, Jake. All the way to finish. Looks like you got your uh, net gear. This is the actual extender with the antennas. <laughs> Don't take that out of the box or package yet. Okay. This looks like it is the uh, adapter that will plug into um, the actual router. And then like it said on the box, there's your two ethernet cords that you'll use later. Pretty simple box. Make sure nothing else is in there. Nope. And that's it. So let's go install it. Okay, we are now in Jake and Kennedy's room where the actual modem lives. And before we hook up the adapters, it's pretty smart to go through your quick start guide and learn about what each of the lights mean on the actual adapter. So you actually got your power or your Wi-Fi LED light that's going to be here, your pick a plug LED, which is important, your Ethernet LED right here, and then your actual power LED. On the other device, you're going to have an Ethernet cord for plug-in. You're going to have your WPS button, and then you're going to have a factory reset button. It's really hard to see, but it's there. And then obviously on the back, you're going to have your typical plug. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that it wants us to do, Jake, is to plug this into the wall. So where should we plug it in at? We should put it, plug it in, you know, right, in, right, right where the shocker that's next to my sister's candy bed. Okay, sounds great. So let's go ahead and plug it in like it says and like Jake suggested. And then the next thing that we need to do per the instructions is just hook up the ethernet cord from the actual, the one that uh, comes with it underneath. And then this goes into an open port on the back side. 
of your modem router. And that's pretty much all you have to do here. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go over to where we want the range extender to be uh, placed and go ahead and hook up uh, this side. <clears throat> you go ahead. We are now in the room that we want to set up the extender. And we are here at the uh, extender page, install your adapters. It's very important to note that you do not want to plug in your power line adapters into an extension cord. It kind of dilutes, I won't say it won't work, but it really dilutes your, your rate of transfer and how great your Wi-Fi signal will be. So always important to connect directly into the actual plug in the wall. So this is where we're at. And even though this is a Wi-Fi extender, we're actually going to use both the wired and the Wi-Fi extender uh, for, for this demonstration. So here's the actual extender. And we're going to go ahead and uh, plug it into the wall. But first, we're going to do some pre-work on the back side of the computer by plugging in the Ethernet cable. Before we do that, I want to show you one quick thing. On the back side, it's very important before you connect this device into the wall to uh, take a picture uh, or write down the information that's on the back side of the Netgear uh, adapter because that will actually have all your serial number, your um, key, if you could see that, your uh, WS pin some uh, Mac information. So very uh, important to have this information before you plug it into the wall because it's, once it's against the wall, you will not be able to use it or get that information unless you pull it out of the wall. So just take a minute to take a quick picture or write down that information. I'm gonna plug in the ethernet cable to the back of the computer. Perfect, yes. We are going to uh, plug it in now. Daddy's just gonna reach over here. And it goes right into here. Perfect. Now we're going to trace the wire down to the wall and go ahead and plug in the adapter. Okay, go ahead. Okay, now we're going to plug it into the wall. We're going to lift up the antennas. I think they rotate here to go up. We'll do the same for the other side. And then we'll go ahead and connect firmly. I think we have to wait for the signal to light up. And then we'll go ahead and connect the ethernet cable to that once that happens. Okay. Just go ahead and seed that in. There's another light. Yep. Lights are coming on. Get the good connection. And that should start the Wi-Fi extender's connection. So we have successfully uh, hardwired the computer into the adapter with 100% success. Not only did I not have to do any kind of special, um, you, know, you know, settings to connect to it. All I had to do is uh, turn off the Wi-Fi. And since I connected it directly uh, hardwired to the computer, it automatically recognized the, um, the adapter and connected. And Great, great uh, signal. Much better signal than we were having when we were using the Wi-Fi uh, from, from the back of the house. So this application works great. Now let's go ahead and uh, try connecting uh, to the Wi-Fi through our iPads. Let's get mine. All right, let's check and see how uh, the adapter works when we're connecting it via Wi-Fi. What you're going to see here is we're already connected to the main router and modem, which is our Motorola C8443. And you'll see down here in the descriptions of the available networks Netgear. We're gonna focus on the EXT 
extensions. So that basically lets you know that it's the adapter you're looking to connect to. There's two options here. One is the 2.4 and one is the 5G. Obviously, uh, depending on if your device that you're connecting it to supports 5 gigahertz, uh, that's the one you want to connect to. It's a faster, quicker connection. Uh, but either one will work. And to save a little time, we went ahead and uh, programmed in the password. But remember, the password's located for each device on the back side of the adapter you plugged into the wall. So let's make sure it works. We get good connection. And we do. So let's go ahead and navigate to the internet. And let's just put in twintubehd.com. And it takes us right there to the Twin 2 HD page. And let's just pick a video um, that uh, we can check the, the load time for comparison. This is great. You see there's no buffering. It's very smooth. Uh, just really excited about the overall performance. So I think in the short term time that we've had this device, I give it an A+. Uh, not only was it quick and reliable and easy to set up from a wired aspect to a wireless, but it's obviously taking care of the problem that we have in regards to uh, the Wi-Fi signal in the front of the house. So from a very short term, short time that we've had the device, it's working great, easy setup. So I recommend this for anybody who has a similar issue. We got ours at Best Buy for about $119. Uh, so that's what it's going for. Uh, but it, uh, I think it's well worth it if you have this uh, issue and opportunity. And then I look forward to seeing what it looks like in the next three months um, to six months in the performance. So stay tuned for an update down the line. Thanks for watching. I'm ready. So the adapter will go right against the wall. We'll plug it in. It's okay, Daddy. I'm right where you are. Okay. Now we're going to try that again, Jake. <laughs> <laughs> Jake. <laughs>